Hey everyone, Nick here. Now today I'm going to be making another forge welded rasp tomahawk. This time I'm going to be using the whole rasp instead of just half. With the cutoff wheel on my angle grinder, I cut off the tang on the rasp and then flip it around and cut off a 3 inch piece from the end. We're going to be using this 3 inch piece later on by forge welding it back into the tomahawk so we get a little more body in the edge and we can draw it out a little bit more. So now that I have my pieces, I fire up the forge and let it come up to temperature. Once it's preheated, I put the rasp in and let it come up to an orange heat. Now we can start forging. I start by forging out what will become the eye of the tomahawk. Now just like the smaller tomahawks I made, I'm forging it down into an elongated U shape and making sure to only forge from one side. That way I put a natural taper into it. The only difference is that instead of really bringing it down really narrow, I'm only forging it down to about an inch or so. So once both halves are equal, I put it back in the forge and then fold it in half. Once it's folded down to about an inch and a quarter, I drive a piece of one inch pipe, which is a one and a quarter outside diameter, and then use it as a drift to form the beginning of my eye. I do most of my hammering near the eye so that it ends up well defined and there's a nice slot for the bit to be welded into. So now it's time to work on the bit. I take the 3 inch piece of rasp and upset and flatten out the top. This will become the cutting edge of the axe. Then I flip it over and start forging in a taper. This way, when I forge weld, there isn't a hard crease, there's a nice, gradual transition. Next, I heat up the main body of the axe and apply borax. Now, I'm using just store-bought borax as a flux, and it helps to clean the metal and also serves as a barrier to help keep excess oxidation down. So then I heat it up again and then insert the bit. Once I've got the bit in place, I apply more flux and then put it back into the forge. I turn up the gas on my forge to help with oxidation and then bring it up to a welding heat. Once a mild steel rod will stick to it, I bring it back to the anvil and set the weld. Then I do a second heat, just to try and consolidate everything and make sure that the weld sticks. Now that it seems solid, I start drawing out the edge of the axe. I switch to a cross peen hammer so that I can really stretch out the edge because I'm trying to end up with at least a 4 inch cutting edge on this tomahawk. Once the edge is drawn out, I put the 1 inch pipe back into the eye and then use it to hold the axe while I true it up and make sure everything is straight. I've decided to grind off any of the excess so that when I go to the next step of refining with forging, I'm not splitting open any of my welds and delaminating it. So here's the axe head after rough cutting and grinding. 
I'm pretty happy with the weld so far. Now it's time to put it back into the forge and refine the shape. I'm hammering from the bottom of the axe head so that I can drop the top down and give it something of a small beard. Nothing too extreme, but I wanted it to have a little more of a downward hook at the end. I go back to the cross beam and finish drawing out the edge and I end up with a four inch blade which is what I was going for. After hammering out all of the marks from the cross beam, I put the axe head back on the one inch pipe and then true it up and finish it off, making sure that everything is nice and even and that the head is centered on the handle. So here's the tomahawk head after forging. Then I clamp it up again and use the angle grinder to clean up the profile. I then switch to a 120 grit flap sanding disc and clean off any scale and any of the really heavy forging marks. So here's the axe head after sanding. Now it's time for heat treatment. I take it back to my forge, this time making sure I only heat up the edge. And I don't want to overheat it. Once it no longer sticks to a magnet, I dunk it into a container of canola oil to quench the edge. I leave it in until most of the color is gone, and then I use a file to clean off the edge. I check the edge until I get the tempering colors I want, and then dunk the edge to stop the tempering process. So here's the axe head, hardened and tempered. Now with the wire brush, I clean off any of the excess scale, and for some reason, not all of the scale came off, and I ended up with the ghost of a temper line. You might be able to see it in this part of the video. Now for the handle I decided to use a piece of oak square stock that I had lying around. Since the eye of the axe is round, I turned the piece of oak down on my lathe so that the axe would fit nicely onto the handle. I use a mallet to seed it, and now the tomahawk is finished. And here's one of the half rasp tomahawks I made. You can see it's a lot smaller than this one and a lot lighter too. So now it's time to see how this bigger tomahawk throws. If you're wondering why my target stump looks funny, it's because the first throw I did with this tomahawk actually split it in two. So I think it's time for me to get a new target. And here's my wife hitting the target at 10 yards. And here it is, all finished up. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my channel for other videos. And I've also written several books, including one on knife making. And I'll put links in the description below. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.